All right, we are in Southern Elsewhere and the Sincha Palace, and there is a lot of stuff to loot here. Uh, in this video, what I'm going to show you is some of the places I like to loot and steal from so I can get some furnishing plans, other stuff, you know, stuff like that. Get some extra gold, whatever. Okay, so I went to the right first. Okay, and I'm going to go up these stairs here. Okay, everything here is a good place to loot. There's lots of pickpocketing. There are lots of things here that you can get. Uh, lots of bookcases, you know, anything like that. A lot of crafting materials, okay. We're gonna get from this guy here. Give him a second. I got anything on that one. I think I hit the wrong button. Something happened there. Oh, that's fine. All right, wait for it to go green. Okay, make sure nobody else is around. And then we're just going to take him out. I do two, then one. Okay, so two pickpocket, and then blade of woe. Two pickpocket, blade of woe. Okay, so there's the nightstand there. Go around, just look for everything. If that's a desk, no, that one's got nothing in it. Okay, this room is kind of hard because these two guys are face to face. Okay, so I come back here, wait for a second to hide. And I come up real slow, like this. Oh, he can see me. Let's go back. If you try to kill these guys, you're probably going to get in trouble. OK, it's really hard to do this room. I mean, it can be done. I've done it in the past, but it's, it's the chairs that they're sitting in. Plus, they're facing each other. Okay, scholars, nobles, priests, they give the best loot. Right. I can't kill him because if I kill him, then the other guy's going to see it. Okay, so we didn't get much out of that one. Let's move over here. Let's try him again. Uh, that lady walking around. Should we can get her here in just one second. There we go. Line up right on the corner. Okay, see how it changed? He gives me a white. But he can drop sometimes the other things too. So stick with him. All right, let's go get her. She's pretty easy. Okay, we're gonna steal from her twice and then use the blade of woe. All right, if you don't have the blade of woe, okay, under skills, going down to Dark Brotherhood, okay? You, If you have access to the Dark Brotherhood, then you can get this from going to the Gold Coast. Let's go all the way back. Okay, the Gold Coast is here. If you just go to Anvil, there will be a quest um, that pops up, and you have to meet somebody here at the docks. Then you got to go kill somebody. Then I believe you have to meet them back at the docks, and then you have to come over here and talk to a guy here. And then he, that's how you start the quest line. But by doing that, you also get the Blade of Woe. All right, so we got that room. Um, we can try to kill him here, see if the other guy attacks. Pretty sure he will, though, because he can see me. There he is. He's going to come and get me. And I didn't get anything out of it. I'll just disappear here for a second. And it'll go away.
Okay, he's gone. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my edict here to clear it up. Okay, so upstairs there's pretty much just that. Now if we go downstairs, there are lots of cabinets everywhere. Whoop, I didn't clear it. There we go. There are lots of cabinets. Okay, lots and lots of cabinets. So we just look around, do cabinets, desks, dressers. Um, get everything possible that you can. This lady, she responds pretty quick too. So you can get her multiple times in one run. Let's go ahead and clear her out. Pickpocket twice. And then blade of woe. Seems to work best for me whenever I do it like that. Um, I'm not saying it works all the time, but that was 250 gold I just picked up on that lady. Okay, you got to look up high because there are sometimes some cabinets up high. Those wardrobes are empty. Make sure you hit all the bookcases. Okay, so now we can move over to the middle section. Okay, watch for these guards. I believe they're regular guards, I'm not sure. Uh, they might get you. Just make sure you're hidden. Okay, move across, because we're gonna go right around the room. Okay, make sure you stay hidden. Okay, we can pickpocket from this guy, and there was a lady back there we can get from her too. You just gotta jump up high on the couch. The sofa, love seat, whatever you call it. Okay, follow him around a little bit. Alright, that's pocket? okay. Not a problem. Just trying to rob me. Get him with the blade of woe. I got him once. So, maybe he'll drop something here. Okay, hit this cabinet. The trunk. The desk. Okay, I think that's the whole room. Yep, okay. So we've gone completely around that room. Okay, so to get this lady here... What you gotta do is you jump up here. Oop, if I can get up there. Okay, there we go. Alright. Sometimes Damn it takes so long. Get away. Not a problem. All crimes must be punished, no matter how small. Wait for him to leave, because if we don't, then we're definitely going to get caught again. Okay, so we come back here. Got to jump up over the top and fall down. There we go. Now, once he leaves, we can kill her. If he ever does. Now we're still waiting. Taking forever. All right, well, anyways, so you can see what that one is there. All right, let's move over to the next one. Okay, we go to the other side. Okay, just make sure nobody's watching you. Okay, there's a high shelf there. See that one? Okay. There should be a guy somewhere walking around. That we can pickpocket. I'm not sure where he went. We'll find him here in just a second. Okay. 
There he is. It's the same guy we had out there. Okay. Okay, when he stands like that, you can kind of get in the corner and get him again. Oh, we're getting caught left and right here. I don't know what's going on. Haven't been pickpocketing a while for a while, so could be part of it. All right, we got a 250 out of that. We've got no motifs or anything yet, but that's okay. All right, the desk has nothing. All right, there's lots of stuff, uh, if I remember right, on the tables here. And there was, maybe something changed. There's carrots, drinks. Stuff like that. Okay. There's a millet sack that's empty. There's a keg. Okay, all these items you can sell. You can launder them and sell them. Alright, let's get her done. And that's it pretty much for this palace. Now there's not tons of stuff here, but every so often I do get a good drop. So the amount of time that it takes, uh, just a couple minutes going through, if you get one good drop, you know, that's a good deal. All right, so we're gonna go to another place here. We're gonna go to Somerset. I think this is the right door, no, the other door. Okay, I gotta be careful for the guards out here. Let's go ahead and use my counterfeit pardon edict real quick. Actually, since we're in Rimen, or uh, Southern Elsewhere, we'll go to Northern Elsewhere. I'll show you another place there, a couple of places with a palace for one. Okay, in the Sand Swirl Manor are two places where you can really hit also. Alright, we're in Rimen. Okay, and we're going right up here to the palace. Such a long way, it needs its own way shrine. Luckily, you have a speedy character here. All right, we're in Rimen now, or the palace. Now, everything in here, um, you don't steal. You can just pick it up. Okay, so make sure you hit everything. Uh, you can just open everything you want. Okay. Oh, okay, that one's empty. Go back across the hallway. Make sure you don't miss a little corner. desk. Sorry about that. We don't want all the chat going on. 
distracts us. Okay. Jewelry box. Okay, make sure you hit everything. Do this right side first. Okay, there's a jewelry box there. Trunk, wardrobe. Got another recipe. It was an urn, jewelry box, sorry. Okay, you can still even those crafting materials if you want. Okay, if I remember right, there's nothing in here, really. Uh, but there are a lot of books. So make sure you pick up all the books. Um, if you've never done the quests here before. leads us outside and there's nothing out there if I recall correctly all right so that's the Rimen palace um, I think there are some sewers here too but I don't really remember if they have anything in them I don't believe that they do all right so the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna go to now we'll go to Somerset There are some things in this area you can loot. Um, if I recall, it's been a while since I've gone through and stole stuff and pickpocketed. Uh, I'm getting back into it. That's why I'm putting this video online. When I was doing it, this character here can still between probably 15 and 25,000, if I recall correctly, a day. So he can steal quite a bit. All right, so in Somerset, you want to hit one of these two here way shrines, this one or this one, okay? Because we're going right here to this place here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to this one here. All right, so as you can see, we're at the King's, uh, sorry, I moved it. The King's Haven Pass Way Shrine. Okay, this way shrine, you'll remember if you watched my, uh, tutorial on getting the griffin feather it's right here in this area this is where there's like five four or five griffins right here in this area all right so we're gonna go here my horse is a little bit faster than when I run just barely but I don't want to use any food right now it's a waste all right we're going right up this little road there's a griffin, griffin flying overhead. Oh, put the book away, Paragon. You're sucking the sun out of this whole affair. All right, there are some spiders and I believe skeletons and stuff here. Uh, so be careful. Now, originally when you want to do it, you got to come here because there. Are, this is where the quest is, okay, to start in this area. So you need to pick up the quest or you can't enter into the dungeon or the whatever it's called, the crypt where we need to get in. Okay, so once you get it, you start following the quest and then you'll be able to come. It'll have you get a key and other things like that. Then you'll come right out this door. Okay, and it's right here. The Rennie uh, catacombs, that's what they are. Oh, now we're going to be here for an hour taking care of these guys. This is my crafter. He's a little bit weak. Alright, so we're going right in here. Once you have the key, you can go in. Alright, you go in, you start following the quest. Do what you got to do. Uh, look up here because there are a couple of urns before you go down the stairs. Not always do they have something in them. Okay, once you 
get it, you can go into this door here, the Shattered Halls. All right, and then we start looking for urns here. Now, in this room, there are a couple ghosts and skeletons. Um, so be ready, make sure you take them out if you can. Okay, there's one. Okay, so we got the bigger one already. There are arms behind you, so keep looking as you go around the room. we get that, we're going to go right back to this door here, opposite of where we came in, go down the stairs. Okay, in this room, there's a few urns. Okay, make sure you look over here. Okay, in the center of the room. There are a couple of them that are laying down. Okay, the other ones are kind of up high, so you might have to jump and get some. So you need to make sure that your auto loot's on. Oh, I can jump. Is that one gonna get it? Okay. Why isn't he jumping? There we go. Okay, I got that one. Back up a little bit. The other side's a little bit easier because you can jump up on the uh, the thing there. I think there's a couple right there. I can't tell. Bring it down just a little bit. A little bit more. Okay, there we go. Okay, on the other side of the room, there are some urns here. So get these ones here. That one's empty. I got a lock pick. Okay, now you can jump up on top of this and get all of these. Okay, now we're going straight through to this room over here where the ghost is. Okay, as you can see on the map, because the other room is empty, I believe. There's nothing in here. There is a ghost, but it takes you back upstairs. We don't need to go upstairs. Now this room has a lot of urns also, so I just start on the left and go around the room. Back here, I think it might be one or something. I don't think there's too many. Um, don't waste too much time looking back behind. Okay, if you don't have any lockpicks, you're definitely going to get a, lo a lot of lockpicks now. If you're farming for lockpicks, you're going to get a lot.
so that's... Oh, we're not... Yeah, we are. We're not quite where we came in yet. Yeah, we still gotta keep going around a little bit more. So this is where we came in. So we need to go out this door. Okay, we're to the right. Okay, there's a few urns in this one. There we go. Sketch, figurine. Let's see what we got. The fish and the unicorn. Not even sure what that is. All right, so in this room, take out the mobs first so you don't die. Oh. All right, in this room, just start picking them up. They're here on the left-hand side. Get around them. Don't think I'm gonna get anything good now because we're already got a purple one. So usually when you get a purple one, you gotta kind of leave an area and come back later. I think it's a, probably about 30 minutes is a good time. Seems to be what works for me. Oh. This room, well, this hallway leading to the next room has quite a few urns in it also. Look on both sides. So there's four of them there. That dude's really agitated. Okay. Always try to kind of look at the ground too because you'll find them there too. Alright, so we're into the next room. We're here. Go around like we did the other room. I don't think I've ever gotten anything from those urns at all. Okay, you do get a lot of crafting materials, so that's good. Right here behind the, the the whatever this is. Come back over here, get this side. I think we got much more. Is that an urn? Yep, there's one there. One there. Okay. Let's get out my cat here. Sell some stuff. I'm not really selling it it's not worth anything but it still takes up space 
You could deconstruct it. I don't know if you get any materials from it. I don't think I've ever done that. You might. Alright, so now that we cleared this room, we're going right here in this little hallway thing. It's actually going to take us outside to an outside area. I'll always be looking for stuff. Okay. In this room, I don't believe there is anything. Might be an urn somewhere on the ground. Uh, you can take your time and look if you want. I'm gonna keep moving through. Okay, this next room. Here are the mobs. Uh, we got three of them. Get all the arms here. Okay, now we're going up the stairs. here. Uh, it freed up a little bit. I think there's still another ghost down there, but that's okay. We'll take care of him in just a moment. Bring him in down here with the ghost so we can just take them both out at once. I didn't miss anything here in this area. Don't believe there are any here. Okay, and we go up the stairs here. Get the few urns here. Oh, I didn't get that one. Alright, we got all of those. Now, if I drop back down in this hole, okay, we start it all over again. Okay, so if I drop down here and go straight to this door, okay, you start all over again. But you want to give it time. You want to wait 20, 30 minutes before you come back. But what you can do is if you have multiple characters, you take those multiple characters and you uh, set them up right here. Okay, so you do one character. Then once he's done, you do the other character. Once he's done, do the next character, and you just keep doing a rotation. All right, so the next place I'm going to show you, I'm going to have to log in and log back out because I need to get the another character because this character actually ruined it by turning in a quest. So I'll see you at the next character. All right, we are now in Vardenfell. Okay, we're at the Dreloth Ancestral Tomb. Now, most of the tombs in Vardenfell, there are a lot of them, uh, will have urns, so you can hit most of them. Uh, this character obviously hasn't hit very many because he hasn't even freed up the map yet. But due to the fact that if you turn in the quest to this lady right here, okay, if I turn this quest in, I lose half of the space 
for getting urns, okay? It's not quite half because there are a lot of urns where you can still go, but uh, you lose part of it. So let's go inside here. All right, once we get inside, straight in front of us, there's an urn. Oh, there's a cool little shadow on the wall. Looks like a huge spider. But if we come over here, it's a little teeny tiny spider right there. Can't really see him, but it's kind of cool. All right, in this room, there are some barrels. So you can get a few crafting materials, a few crates. Uh, always be looting. Always get everything you can. Did I get that one? Yeah, okay. So move on down to the next room. Okay, in this room there are a few urns. Okay, you're going to get more crafting materials than anything, but that's okay. The more crafting materials means the more crafting you can do. All right, be careful. There are two little mobs right here. If you are lower, just make sure you're ready. Take this guy out here too. All right, there's an urn here. There's an urn here. Just need to check my bag and see if it's almost full because I think I did here, here earlier and didn't empty it out. Okay, let's do that real quick. If you can, get a banker and a merchant. It really does help out a lot. Okay, so we'll go into this door here. Ancestor pray room, prayer room. Okay, and start looking for urns. There are a lot of urns in this room. I mean, a lot. Um, as you can see, as I look around the room, there are so many urns. Okay, so it's a good spot. Okay, so go through and get every single one of them. All right, so once you cleaned out that room, you can go on to the next room. Now, if you did turn in the quest, you can't go in through this door. Like I said, this room has a lot of urns. The next room, not so many, but it's still got some in it. All right, so we didn't get much out of the urns. Now there are two backpacks. There's one here, and there's also one right before the door. Okay, that one's empty this time. All right, well, that run we didn't get much out of. Uh, I can take a look, see what we got. Not really anything that time. But I did get a few recipes. I'm going to go ahead and use that one, that one. 
I've gotten a few recipes. So that's kind of, this character doesn't have many recipes right now. So go ahead and load him up on the recipes. Um, so that's it for this, uh, this tutorial. Uh, if you liked it, please subscribe. And if you know of any other places that you can loot, uh, if you want to give them up, uh, give them up and put them in the comments and let us know. We're all playing this game together. We can always find a new instance uh, if you're looting in that area. So that's it. I will see you in the next video.